Um, thank you very much for coming to see us today. And um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your illness and the history of that, please? Yeah, I um, I've been was born with asthma, um, or recently, just after being born, I had uh, pneumonia and then had asthma, and suffered with that uh, all my life. Um, so there was a weakness within my chest, but um, about six years ago, I then uh, contacted. Uh, having um, allergic aspergillosis, which was diagnosed and uh, in Wrexham. And uh, I was given some medication, which uh, was originally Sparnox, which was for my, uh, maybe my um, aspergillosis. So I um, had that for two years. What sort of symptoms did you have at that time? With with the aspergillosis, uh, to bring to the... I had continuous cough. Um, when I first recognised that I had a problem with my chest, a serious problem, uh, when I was coughing up blood, that's when I was referred to the hospital. They then diagnosed me with uh, aspergillosis. Um, then I was under the uh, chest clinic then for a for or even up to now, um, but I was given uh, Sparnox as uh, medication to treat it. Um, and did that improve your condition? Oh yes, yeah. I it worked um, right up until the time I was told not to, to to use it because of the side effects when I suddenly uh, had um, tingling within my hands and my feet. So they then advised me to come off that, uh, that medication. So that, did that happen straight away or was that after a few years? Um, that was about, it took, it took two years for that to actually happen. It, it was literally within a month I started to get tingling sensation and uh, then I, I just didn't click that it was to do with any of the drugs and then I phoned up my um, GP and he said it was the medication. So to stop taking the medication. Okay. And what did you take then? Uh, then it was a course of continuous monitoring for a year on uh, steroids um, and uh, antibiotics. Literally having chest infections within every two weeks. Literally, um, the steroids worked, but of course I was still getting a lot of infections. I was coughing up, um, having a continuous cough, but I was coughing up mucus but I was also coughing up bits, um, plugs I think they call them, um, continuously, you know, they were brown and uh, there were certain times of the year that I would get this uh, more than others and generally feeling unwell and having flu symptoms every six, you know, six weeks, something like that. So, um, you know, it was a sorry state really. Okay. Um, so then you referred to the centre here. Yeah. And what sort of treatment did you receive then? Yeah, um, I, I was put on von, vonoconazole, um, continuous monitoring for the first few months, you know, with the uh, drug. But it, from the time I, I went on the drug, the coughing had stopped and um, I had no mucus coming up, um, no plugs as they would call it, that had, that had stopped. And my, actually my chest, had, you know, was, was a lot better as if I hadn't had it, you know, so that was, that was good. Um, and have you had any side effects with boriconazole um, treatment? Yeah, I, I, after about six weeks, I would say, maybe a bit, the, the la, the, the, that was the appointment they made for me after I started to turn red, as I would, they would call it, with the sun. Uh, it's one of the side effects, you get photosensitivity. But, um, so what, how can you describe that? You just, you know when the, you know when the spring comes, Winter time is okay, you know, you sort of, you are red, but you're not as red, but come the spring, you're really aware of burning, your skin starts to go thinner on, on your hands and on your forehead, and, and um, you've got to be very careful, I, I've learned to wear a hat to protect your skin and gloves as well, because, uh, you know, because of my work, so I, you know, I, I was aware of photosensitivity itself, you know, which was one of the main problems of the drug. You know, but, uh, okay. Uh, but other than that, you've been very well on on this drug. Yeah, better than ever. Um, it's it works. The drug actually works as far as my chest goes. You know, it does have some side effects, but you've got to weigh the pros and cons of it. Mm. 
Um, and are you still taking steroids? No, I don't take steroids now. Since the last, I, I, I will take steroids if I have had a, a very bad cold to clear up the, the chest infection, but other than that, I don't take any steroids. Very rarely use my uh, Ventolin. Um, I use my Ceratide, which is uh, prescribed for me, and I use that in the morning. I don't have a chest infection or a bad chest at all through the rest of the day. Only when I get a, a bad cold, which is normal symptoms for everybody, really. Mm. So you, would you say you feel quite well at the moment? Very well, yeah. It, yeah, it's, um, it's remarkable how a drug can can uh, free you up with your life, you know, and uh, you know make you feel well because that's all you really want to do in life is just feel well. And get you do get the normal things that everybody else gets, you know. But at one particular point when you felt that there was no real hope for you, you got this drug and it was it change changes everything that you do in life, you know. So, so that was good. Okay, thank you very much for coming to talk to us. Good.